All right. So I just thought about a pretty good comparison for this election and uh, what we can take away from the Biden victory. I believe the Biden victory was a victory. He's slightly better than Trump. Slightly. Um... I wouldn't say we won, and I thought of a good comparison. So I was not a good student when I was a kid. So in the sixth grade, I used to come home with F after F after F. And I'm talking like 20% F. So like big F. And so this election would be like that. Or no, later on, so I got that F. And then a few semesters after that, I come back with a D. And so I thought, woohoo, 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 huge upgrade. And my mom's like, dude, you went from an F to a D. Not exactly an upgrade. I guess it is, but it's, it's not really the one you want. And that's how I feel about Donald Trump and Biden. We went from like a 20% F to like a 65% D. Is it better? Sure. Is it something we should be patting ourselves on the backs for? Probably not. Especially since he barely beat him. So that's probably something we should take away from this, is that even though Biden won, we shouldn't act as if, woohoo, everything's good, uh, it's just a fluke, haha, <laughs> Donald Trump's going away. Because if we pull the same BS we've been pulling for the last four to eight years, we're just going to get a worse Donald Trump. And I'm like, I'm not the only one to say that. We're going to get a, and he might, he might be considerably worse. Because I can't remember who said this, but they were right. We got lucky. Donald Trump's an idiot. He's a fucking fascist, but he's an idiot. So he couldn't really get much done because he's an idiot. Now, if we get somebody like that who's actually intelligent, uh, I think you all know how that would work out. Now, some of you might get mad at me and you might go, meh, 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 you're racist, meh, 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 meh. And all that may be true, but it doesn't change the reality on the ground. The reality on the ground is the game is winning votes. Winning votes. That's people. Not a number. People. In order to do that, you have to appeal to said people. And sa saying that every single one of them is Satan? Probably not the best way to go about doing that. And how do we know? Oh, how about because Hillary Clinton lost to Donald Trump and Biden barely beat him. If that's not evidence enough, like... There's like, I don't know what to tell you at that point. That's like black and white. Like we have exactly what happens when you do that right in front of us. So if you guys continue doing so, you continue doing stupid shit like coming after Andrew Yang because all he did was defend the working class in the center of the country. We will get nowhere. This will be every four years. We will have this every four years. If we're lucky, it'll get worse. If we don't knock this the fuck off, we're all acting as if we're in high school. We're picking sides. We're going, <laughs> I'm on that side and my, my, I'm obviously right. You know who else thinks that? The other side. You know who else thinks that? Somebody else. At the end of the day, as a politician, you have to be representing everybody, not just a single side. Because if you do that, you fuck yourself. You wind up pushing them away. So what do you do there? Well, we've been doing the opposite. We've been compromising on policy and not compromising on symbolism. That's silly. That's fucking silly. We should be compromising on symbolism, not compromising on policy. Because policy is what affects people's lives. Actually affects them. Not their emotional state. Physically, whether they can eat or not. Because if you really think this shit helps the economy? It's pretty easy to say that the reason we didn't get a stimulus is because of partisan bullshit. There's really no other way to put it. So until we fix all that, we're, we're in a tough spot.